Hello everybody, welcome to week 9 of the WCSL Draft League, and more importantly, the quarterfinal matches. Oh, I'm very excited. Just kidding, I've already recorded the match, but the audio didn't record, so this episode's going to be a bit scuffed, because going into um, like the team building, like I normally do, uh, I already know like how the match came out. This is the first time this has happened to me, but I can still run down the spreads. This is actually, I changed this to play rough, not psychic fangs. Okay. So, uh, this Arcanine spread, it is 146 speed, which is a common speed that a lot of our Pokemon end up hitting, because that is faster than Timid. Oh, well, first of all, let's go, let's go over my opponent's team. Let's turn the webcam off. There we go. So, my opponent is the California Cakes, with Calyrex, Ice, Grimmsnarl, Venusaur, Dracovish, Ninetales, Escavalier, Tornadus, Tentacruel, Scrafty, and Morpico. So, I expected them to bring something along the lines of this right here with bulky calyrex with um weakness policy and then just three attacks grim snarl uh the grim snarl could have been two things it could have been the trick one it could also it could have been eject button as well as lagging tail or it could have been uh screens grim snarl with let's get rid of like yeah let's get rid of taunt first of all or yeah uh, trick we'll throw on like a light screen and then probably no taunt but because i think they would still want Thunderwave or uh, or Scary Face, but then it could have been Reflect as well, and this could have been Scary Face if they want 100% accuracy and to avoid any Lumberries that my team has. I was worried about this Pokemon. Um, next up is Ninetales. I figured it would just be sashed with Sun, um, just to set Sun for Venusaur, who I was pretty scared of because it could Sleep Powder me, and it could just attack me with very strong moves. Escavalier, I figured it would probably be Assault Vest. I don't, I didn't think it would be Counter, but I just couldn't think of a last good move for it could have been razor shell poison poison jab is actually just worse than iron head so i don't know why they would run that oh it could have been brutal swing to proc uh the calyrex weakness policy the calyrex also probably would run some speed to outspeed some of my guys after paralysis and then dracovish which i figured would be scarfed because i didn't think that they would bring uh, much speed control outside of thunder wave so they had i just figured they'd be scarfed with fish's rent and that's really all they end up clicking so let's go back to my team um so my Arcanine is uh, 146, which is faster than Timid Venusaur, which also makes it faster than non-Scarf Dracovish. So that was kind of my thought process. It's like, okay, well, we'll get like a lot of our guys to be 146 so that we can outspeed any non-Scarf Dracovish and Timid Venusaur outside of Sun. So that's that. The 128 attack is so that we can... So against Calyrex, if they Dynamax, uh, we're doing 40% with ours pretty much. And then once the sun goes up, we're doing 60% pretty much. So it's like the, this basically, I mean, there's like a one to like 4% chance that we don't two hit KO them. But for the most part, we're going to two hit KO the Calyrex um, if we both Dynamax. And like, they can't one shot us back with anything like, cause they get, uh, what is it? High horsepower. And that is not killing us back. And we're faster than them. The only scary thing in this situation is if they are weakness policy, cause we'll proc it and then we'll get killed back. Um, wait, is that? That's them at minus one, is it? No, I took I took Intimidate off. Okay, good. Oh, they didn't have attack. Let's put attack investment in. Get rid of this minus two. Yeah, we live one regardless. Uh, then we have Dragapult here to proc beat up on our Arcanine, as always. Uh, Draco Meteor is important because Draco Meteor will one-shot Draco Dracovish, and this speed is faster than Scarf Dracovish. So, like, no matter what, even if they lead Dracovish and we're afraid of it being Scarfed, we can just kill. We can just nuke it with uh, Navigation. Then we have Flamethrower, which is hitting Escavalier, and Esca. Uh, the important thing is that Flamethrower plus Specs Mystical Fire will one-shot Dynamax Escavalier. So that's kind of the, the thought process. Because normally I would just run Fire Blast for the extra damage. Flamethrower is a bit more reliable, and it can pick up the kill in conjunction with, with this guy. Psychic Fangs is to break screens, because uh, I didn't actually know it going in, uh, but like when I was looking up, like, okay, do any of my guys get Brick Break to get rid of the screens? But Psychic Fangs is the same, and we have also have Psychic Fangs here on uh, Steelix. So get rid of the screens with Psychic Fangs, and then beat up Prox the uh, Justified. Then we go into Weapons, and this spread is... Uh, it's actually perfect because it has 81 speed and Venusaur has 80. So we're faster than Venusaur. Um, I think this amount of attack gives us a roll on bounce uh, to kill Venusaur. Um, it kills non-bulky Venusaur, but if they have a little bit of bulk, it's going to be a roll. I wanted to do Adamant because Adamant 
uh, one shots even like bulky Venusaur, but that didn't end up working because we needed the extra speed. Um, let's see. The Fire Blast is for it. One Fire Blast or Max Flare from this one shots non Dynamax Escavalier, and then in Sun like with can, with these other guys, it can uh, it can help to pick up the knockout. And then the Waterfall is just for like Nine Tails. Oh yeah, Waterfall one shots Nine Tails in Sun, which is good. So even if they have the sun up, we can hit it with a waterfall, change the weather, and then since we have this many EVs, we'll be faster than Venusaur the following turn and can bounce it. Or we can bounce Venusaur first and then waterfall the Ninetales the second turn. It doesn't really matter because we pick up like both KOs anyway. So it's pretty good. The only thing is that we can be uh, hit with prankster moves because we're flying type. Even in the psychic terrain, we can get hit with uh, like thunder waves and stuff. Then we go to Steelix, which I just ran an assault vest on. Um, pretty much this EV spread lets us live, uh, I think it's a heat wave and a flamethrower, or not together, but either, either one of a heat wave or flamethrower from Ninetales, or a weather ball from Venusaur in Sun, or well, Max Flare from Venusaur in the Sun. Uh, and then we, this is just enough attack to one shot Ninetales back with high horsepower, and I, we're just kind of chipping out stuff, like, uh, the Calyrex is weak to Iron Head, the Grimstone is weak to Iron Head, uh, the Venusaur is weak to fi Fire Fang, sheer force boosted in the sun it's gonna like two or three shot it's not great but it can do it it's also good to just sit there against escavalier which is like the main reason i brought it because um escavalier is kind of scary for my team i mean aside from arcanine and we can just sit there versus it it can't really do much to us it can hit us with some like um uh, drill runs but not the strongest move in the game and then we've got Xerneas. Uh, this Xerneas, I decided not to run Geomancy because I thought it was kind of bad versus his team with uh, Calyrex, Grimmsnarl. Like, Calyrex is just a strong physical attacker, which Xerneas struggles with. Grimmsnarl is, um, it's Grimmsnarl. It can, like, taunt, thunder wave, stuff like that. Venus is a poison type. Escalator is a steel type. Ed Tentacle gets Haze. So I figured, like, mm, yeah, Geomancy's not the best. So I just try and screen Xerneas with the Mental Herb. Uh, Moonblast. So this, again, we hit the 146. Moonblast with this much HP, is, or special attack, is going to one-shot both Dracovish and Grimmsnarl, which is good. And the Psychic is just going to do like 70% to Venusaur, which is good. Then Medbay Scan, hit the 146 speed again. Um, this actually is a 50% chance to kill Dynamax, I think no-bulk Venusaur. So Dynamax no-bulk Venusaur with Expanding Force, which is really good. Mystical Fire, as I said before, it... Um, in combination with Dragapult's Flamethrower, it's going to one-shot Escavalier. And then the Dazzling Gleam is it two-shots like Grimmsnarl and Dracovish and stuff. But the most important thing about this Pokemon is that we just bring it in the back if they if we see Grimmsnarl on Team Preview. Because this Pokemon, when this Pokemon's on the field, or even when it's not on the field, Grimmsnarl, it just shuts down Grimmsnarl. Which is the main reason I'm bringing it, because the Psychic terrain is just really good at dealing with Grimmsnarl. So, yeah, that's the team. Um, some of the stuff worked out pretty well, some of it didn't, um, and uh, I guess we'll just get into the battle. Uh, I'm going to be doing post-commentary this time, because uh, the battle audio recorded, but my microphone audio did not. So um, I'm just going to switch up my layout a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. Um, so as you can see, uh, I have, like, there's my old webcam of me in the game doing stuff, but there's no audio. Um, so I put my regular webcam back on. It's me here commentating uh, live, pretty much. Um, what I th is my mouse? Okay, my mouse is not in the video. That's good. So um, I'm just letting the video play, and I'm gonna commentate what's going on. So there's our team. I got him switched up in the order so that he won't know that we're leading beat up. As but if he's watched our videos, he knows that we lead beat up every single week. So that's uh, that's why I don't go to posting the videos. If they want to look for them, they think they can, because I've got a playlist on my channel, but I don't post them. I probably will post them in the Discord after uh, it's up. But, um, let's see. So he's waiting. Uh, not much to talk about here. Uh, this player is actually the number one seed um, in the, uh, the number one seed in the league, which is interesting. But I didn't think that their team was that good. Oh, let me turn off the webcam so you guys can see their team. So their team is Escavalier, uh, Venusaur, that's what it's called, Dracovish, Ninetales, uh, Tornadus Therian, and Calyrex. So overall, it was pretty close to what I predicted. 
Uh, the only thing being that they did decided not to bring the Grim Snarl and in fact brought the Tornadus Therian form. Um, so that told me that they were pretty worried about Ndidi, but since they didn't bring Grim Snarl, I didn't need to bring Ndidi. So I think I end up going, leading my beat up as normal. Well, I'm taking, oh, I'm writing down their team. That's why I'm taking so long. So here we go. Now I'm leading the beat up. Navigation, fuel engines. Then in the back, I know I definitely want Gyarados because of how well it can deal with, like, it, well, first of all, it can live any hit from Dracovish, which is really nice. Um, it's good at dealing with the Venusaur, the Escavalier, the Ninetales, and although it can't really deal with the Calyrex that well, <clears throat> it can easily just uh, tank and pr a couple hits from it and intimidate it, which is really nice. And in the back, I, I'm debating between Steelix and Xerneas. I think I'm leaning towards Steelix right now. And then I realize that Steelix with his Sun Core is actually not that great. So I, I quickly withdraw Steelix, get Xerneas in, and just barely get it in time. So yeah, I think that picking Steelix uh, would not have been as good. I don't know if it would have affected the course of the battle that much, but um, I think it probably would have. I think Xerneas was the correct call here. So there's Tornadus and uh, Dracovish. And then there's my lead. So right here, I'm worried about... I know he's going to Tailwind because he's led Tornadus. I'm worried that it's Scarf Tornadus though, <clears throat> which is not the most common thing, but it could just completely blow up my team if it is. So I am going to... Well, I'm, I'm just thinking right now because I've got time. So regardless if it's Scarf Tornadus or not, um, I'm, I'm just predicting him to uh, Tailwind and then Ficious Rend into my uh, Arcanine, because I think he thinks that Arcanine is going to be the bigger threat here. And he also probably thinks that my Drake of, or Dragapult is uh, Focus Sash, because, I mean, a lot of the time Dragapult is Focus Sash. So he's pr I'm expecting him to... Uh, e either Scarfed or not Tailwind, and then Ficious Rend into my Arcanine here. So I go for the Protect on Arcanine uh, to potentially block out the Ficious Rend, but his Dracovish also goes for Protect. But that interaction with the Protect tells me that his Dracovish is not Scarfed, because, uh, well, first of all, he wouldn't run Scarf on a... Uh, he wouldn't run Protect on a Scarfed Mon. Um, and then again, it was also slower than Arcanine. So... Now that I, well, basically I know his uh, Dracovish is, um, I know that it can't kill Dragapult here. Well, it could with a Vicious Rend, but not after Intimidate. So that's why I'm considering switching in Gyarados here. Because if I Intimidate the Dracovish, it can't kill my Dragapult, and then I kill it back, uh, assuming I hit the Draco Meteor, which is 90% accurate. So right now I'm just doing some calcs, because I mean, like when you've got a minute between match it turns it's not very much so you want to do some calcs while you can so i think i'm just calcing um what am i calcing gyarados versus tornadus here i think or maybe i'm calcing to make sure that i live the minus one vicious rend so arcanine comes back weapons comes in It's Intimidate on both of them. Again, confirming that the Tornadus is faster. There's the Heat Wave from the Tornadus. That's trying to break my Scarf, or er, my Sash. And then there's Ice Fang on my guy, but we live. I don't, I don't know if we would have lived without the, uh, um, without the Intimidate. It, it was a roll, I think. And then here come the Meteors, which are gonna just destroy that. So Dragapult takes its first kill here. <sighs> and in comes uh that's calyrex i think yeah so uh i think what are we doing here with the dra dragapult 
There's actually not much for Dragapult to do here, honestly. Uh, I think... Do we switch out? Oh, yeah, I think we do switch out. I think we're going into... Do we go into... Yeah, we go into Xerneas here. Um, I don't really know... I mean, there's just not much to do here. Like, neither... Uh, my team's just not exerting much offensive pressure right here. So I'm trying to go into my Xerneas to get up some screens to maybe just make us take a bit less damage. And then I think we're just having Gyarados go for... Um, just for Waterfall here. Uh, just to get some chip. I'm deciding between who, though. Do I want to hit the Calyrex or do I want to hit the Tornadus? Wait, did I protect? I, I think I did protect there, expecting a Max Hailstorm. Okay, we protect weapons. Air Slash onto Xerneas. Not too much damage. And then Glacial Lance coming out. Uh, so he's decided not to max the Calyrex, at least yet. And that didn't do that much damage at all. Uh, well, I mean, it did a lot, but my Xerneas... I guess my Xerneas is pretty bulky. So I'm going for Reflect here. Um, and you're about to see something that's pretty important, and I think it may have cost my opponent the match, in fact. Um... Well, I, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but Jesus Christ. Uh, right now, I'm just deciding what to do with Gyarados. Um, like, I mean, I could have just probably maxed Gyarados here. There's not much stopping me from doing that. It's, it's got a good health. Um, it's at good health, and it can exert some good pressure here. But I still wanted to save my max in the late game for Arcanine. Still thinking, doing some... Well, I'm not doing calcs, I'm just thinking right now. I eventually opt to Waterfall the Calyrex. So here's Heat Wave again, as normal. Actually, I think a Air Slash would have just killed my guy, uh, my Xerneas there. He does get the unlucky burn on my uh, uh, Gyarados, which is only 10%. There's the Reflect, and then here's Waterfall, which is a 30% chance to flinch. And... We do get the flinch. So... Like, a bit of luck on both sides there. Um, his Tailwind's gone, and now I'm in a kind of bad spot because he can just set it up again because I don't have much pressure on the Tornadus. But one thing that's very important there is that his Calyrex under Tailwind is slower than all of my Pokemon. It's slower than 146. I feel like he should have definitely EV'd his Calyrex to be uh, faster than probably Arcanine, which is uh, just a little bit faster than that. Yeah, Arcanine's, I don't know what speed it hits, but it's like... It's in the, it's like in the 150s somewhere. He should have put some speed EVs in his Calyrex to be faster under Tailwind. But I know why he didn't. Um, so, I'm just debating. I'm just trying to get Chip on the Tornadus, I think, here. Do I go for Bounce? I don't think I go for Bounce. I'm debating it. I didn't see what I clicked. Oh, I'm going back. What am I going to do? I'm going to double into the Tornadus. I double into the Calyrex slot. Okay. Just for chip. So the Tornadus is faster than my uh, Xerneas. And then I'm just going to attack the Calyrex again. Uh, get some chip on it. Maybe another Lucky Flinch or something. And that's why they didn't have speed on their Calyx, because they're running Trick Room. Or, yeah, Trick Tail Room? I don't I don't know what the uh, portmanteau of the both words is, but they're running both Trick Room and Tailwind. But I think they should have just set up Tailwind again there. Um, with I think they should have just run Speed EVs on their Calyrex. Although I know why, because they have Escavalier on their team. And they have they want Tailwind, or Trick Room up so that the Escavalier can do stuff. So it's, it's a good idea, but it made their Calyrex kind of sucky under the... Uh, in the uh, tailwind mode. Because they could have run the speed EVs on it. And then also... Um, could have run speed EVs on their Calyrex. And then also... Um, had Trick Room. Because they're still slower than like all my guys. Except for Steelix. So here we're going to Dynamax our Arcanine. Because, um, I mean, obviously we don't want to Dynamax Dragapult. Who we have in the back. And Gyarados who got burned. And is on the field right now. 
So here comes Arcanine. Gets big. We did remember to feed the candies. So I always check that. Uh, so we're just going to take some hits. Uh, they're running body press, which is weird. I think they should have just run high horsepower. And then Max Flare doesn't quite take them out. It's a bit uh, worrying. I think... I, don't, I didn't actually see what we did with Gyarados. I don't know if we... Fire Blasted. Yep, that's right. Okay. So the Fire Blast is going to take them out. And that also ignores our burn. So from here on, I think we're just going to end up clicking Fire Blast with Gyarados. Uh, there's... Oh, that was uh, Life Orb. Air Slash doing that much to our Arcanine. Weapon's going to stick around another turn. Or two, depending on uh, if the target we hit protects. So here comes that Cavalier. So right now, um, I'm in a pretty good spot. I've got three Mons left. And all three of them are equipped with fire moves. Uh, one thing I'm worried about is the Escavalier being... Uh, well, first of all, if it attacks here, it can just kill one of my guys. Um, it actually... Um, I, I, f I scuffed this a little bit because I forgot that we had um, Reflect up. So I don't think it can kill Arcanine with a Max Quake here. Uh, it, I think it might be able to. It's a roll, I think. But... I'm just expecting my opponent to kill one of my Pokemon, and then um, the other one, like, will just end up staying alive because his Trick Room kind of screwed over his Tornadus here. Um, so I'm expecting him to kill one of my guys, and then the other one stays alive. So I'm tr I'm just going to double into the Escavalier because I also had a feeling in my mind that it would be Assault Vest, just like uh, because that's like really good against Xerneas, of course. And I assume I always just expect my opponents to uh, spec into Xerneas. So I double into the Escavalier here. It Dynamaxes. Gotta watch the two minute long Dynamax animation. So there's Escavalier. And it does have Protect. I was not expecting it to have Protect. Uh, I thought it would be Assault Vest. It was not. So, I did get outplayed there. Um, I don't remember what the Tornado says. I... Air Slash on Arcanine. Okay, so they're going for Chip to get my Arcanine down. Um, I think they may have expected Gyarados to go down to Life Orb there, but I attacked into the Escavalier. Uh, if they had killed Gyarados there, I think this game could have ended very differently. Um, well, no, because Arcanine still wouldn't die to a Escavalier. Actually... You know, we have the benefit of hindsight right now. We can uh, we can calc that. So let's do that real quick. Let's go Arcanine. Uh, I think we're going to be 28 HP. 28. Uh, we're 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. We're not bold. We're uh, jolly. Whatever. Wait, I just changed it. Intimidate. That's fine. We're jolly. Uh, let's get Escavalier. And let's give it Drill Run. Dynamax. Reflect. Mm, whoops. How much HP was our Arcanine at? I think that, I think it would have killed, even under Reflect. I think that might just be a misplay on my opponent's part. Um, I think they should have attacked my... Uh, killed my Gyarados there, and then attacked Arcanine the next turn. We're actually a little bit past this. Here we go. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit of a misplay on their part. I'm going to... Whoops. Sorry about that. Okay. I just wanted to pull up the calculator on the other side in case I needed to do something else. So, here we go. I think I'm just going to double into the Escavalier again, because the Tornadus isn't doing that much to me. Maybe it doesn't have Drill Run. Maybe they decided not to run it. <clears throat> I think that actually might be the play. I th I th or that might be what happened, because they go for Steel Spike here. Into the Gyarados. Max Flare coming out. That's going to destroy the uh, Escavalier. Critical hit did not matter there at all. It's a four times effective move under Sun. <clears throat> so 
So now it's a 2v1 situation. Uh, Trick Room is still up, I think. So they set up Tailwind here. So now they have Tailwind and Trick Room up, which is really bad for them. Uh, that means that my Arcanine is faster than their uh, Tornadus right now. So knowing that, I that the fact that they use Tailwind there gives me a big suspicion that they're um, that they are running Protect on Tornadus because they've only revealed Air Slash, Tailwind, and Heat Wave up to this point. So I'm gonna go for well, first of all, Arcanine's like the fastest thing on the field right now. So I'm just gonna go for the Sun Boosted Flare Blitz. Well, I'm doing some calcs right now because I've got time. But I'm calcing, um... And this is where I made probably my biggest mistake of the match. Because I calc plus four, um, extreme speed versus the Tornadus. So I'm like, oh cool, I'll get to plus four, um, while they protect. And then I can kill it with extreme speed because plus four extreme speed does kill it. But I forgot, I always, I always mess up because I just always assume that Arcanine's going to go to plus, uh, to plus four. But it only goes to plus two because we only have two Pokemon left at this point in the match. So now I've kind of scuffed it a little bit. Um, I'm It's still very winnable. But here's where I make another misplay. These two misplays could have cost me the match. Um, let's see. So I'm going to go for the extreme speed with Arcanine here. To just do as much as I can. And I'm really not sure about their Tornadus EV spread. But I am under the assumption that... What did I click? I didn't see what I clicked. Um, I'm under I'm under the assumption that uh, Arcanine uh, Extreme Speed plus Fire Sun Boosted Dragapult Flamethrower will kill the Tornadus, but I forgot that they got a Max Steel Spike boost a couple turns ago, so it's going to take a lot less than I expect from the plus two Extreme Speed. So I expect that to do a bit more. Um, that kills, yeah. I expected that extreme speed to do a lot more, and then this flamethrower is just shy of the kill. So that was me missing the, uh, I missed the max steel spike defense boost, and that pretty much cost me the game. Um, I could have gone for Draco Meteor there, I mean I didn't think I needed to, and there's also the chance that it misses. But we dodged the air slash and we get the flamethrower off. And I ended up feeling really bad about that. I told my opponent, oh damn, I'm so I'm so sorry that that happened. Because that's that's absolutely the worst way to lose a game is when like on the last turn you have a pretty much guaranteed win and then you just uh you just miss your move. But I also want to check something. How much HP is Dragapult at at the end? 71? Let's calc that too, because I think that could have uh, made a difference. Let's calc Dragapult. Whoops, I didn't mean to mute my computer. Uh, we're 252, 36 versus uh, Tornadus. Whoops, Tornadus Therian. Air Slash. Oh, it doesn't kill. Oh, they probably do have special attack though. It's a roll. It's a roll in their favor, but they... Well, actually, no, it's, like, completely even... No, 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 yeah, it's in their favor. So it's a roll in their favor. Not guaranteed, though. They could have got the flinch, though, which would have got them the uh, the win. Let's skip ahead a little bit. So it all ca it did come down to luck there. It was a roll. Um, so I don't feel as bad, but still the 5% miss kind of sucks. <sighs> All right, we're loading in with the same team, of course, because we don't, we don't cheat and change teams mid-game. <laughs> uh, I didn't change the music. I usually change the music between matches, but I forgot about that this time. So, um, this time I know that their Dracovish isn't scarfed. Uh, I know that the... I know the move, the entire moveset of the Tornadus. I know their... Um, Escavalier is not Assault Vest, and I know the Calyrex is probably some defensive variant, because it wasn't doing that much damage with Glacial Lance, and it was also running Body Press, which was interesting. So I'm going to lead the same thing uh, with Arcanine and Dragapult. Well, I'm, yeah, there we go. Um, 
I think that can beat most of my opponent's leads, including Sun, because... <sighs> Excuse me. Both of them... I got the Lumberry equipped to, uh... Dodge the, uh... Dodge Sleep Powder, and same with Safety Goggles. Definitely bringing weapons again. Uh, and then I think I'm deciding on Kalino, too. Because, like, Medbay Skin, not necessary without, uh, Grimmsnarl there. And then Steelix, I think, is just pretty weak overall, uh, in this matchup. Honestly, like, there weren't that many Pokemon that I was like, oh, yes, I need to bring this week. Because, like, Arcanine deals with most of my opponent's team just on its own. Um, and then Dragapult's there to support it. And Gyarados is, like, a backup, like, in case we don't want to max Arcanine. Because Gyarados is also a very good max in this matchup. So in that case, like knowing that I have two like really good offensive Pokemon, uh, I decided to turn Xerneas into more kind of hybrid support and offense because it can still one-shot stuff with Moonblast. Um, but it's also got screens. Hmm. Excuse me for uh, yawning so much. I woke up early today. All right, so here's, they lead the same and we lead the same. So it's all the same. But this time I know that Dracovish, neither the Dracovish nor the Tornadoes are Scarfed. So um, right now I'm just debating on going for beat up and then killing the Dracovish immediately. Uh, and then I can kill the Tornadoes with extreme speed next turn. But like there's obviously, um, the Dracovish could protect like it did last time. Which is actually not that bad because we still get to plus four, which is really good. Um, but the one thing I'm worried about is that the Tornadus is faster than um, than Arcanine. So Tornadus goes first. Well, first of all, Drac Dragapult goes first, uh, beats up. Then Tornadus goes, sets up Tailwind. But that makes Dracovish faster than Arcanine. So Dracovish actually could kill Arcanine here. Uh, but I'm like, I was most, like, I was expecting them to protect, but if they, like, out-predicted me and went for the attack here, then I just kind of lose. So I did have to go for the safe play, which is attacking the Dracovish regardless. I didn't get my beat up off. But, I mean, this is still really good because uh, I know that they're going to go for Tailwind with the Tornadus. And I know that if they don't go for Tailwind... Well, I know I know that Dracovish goes down before the Tailwind goes up. So that means that I can just safely attack another Tornadus with my Arcanine. Uh, that, does wo that does a ton of damage. I was not expecting that much, which means that the Tornadus is really not that bulky at all. Because we didn't really hit it until the last turn, and it was at plus one back then uh, of the last battle. So that's really good damage. Um, and right now I'm just deciding on what to do. I think I do... Because I could just obviously uh, um, extreme speed into the Tornadus and knock it out if I wanted to. Or, but the issue is that uh, Dracovish is now faster than Dragapult. So I'm going to go do the same thing I did last battle, where I Draco Meteor the Dracovish, and then switch in weapons so that my uh, Dragapult can live any attack from both of the Pokemon. But the Dracovish switches out, which is something that I was not expecting, uh, into, excuse me, into Ninetales. So then weapons comes in. Um, we're gonna hit nine tails here with a. Oh well, we get air slash first. Not much damage. Here comes the Draco Meteor. Does just under half. And here I'm debating on what the best course of action is. Um, I don't actually know what I end up doing with Dragapult. I don't know if I end up switching it out or if I stay in and just try to get the kill in the Tornadus. Because I could just kill the Tornadus. Um, I'm not in much danger from either of these. But I do end up switching out into Arcanine. And I'm deciding to max, uh, max Gyarados here. Oh, I see what I'm doing, yeah. It's because I want to max Gyarados, and then I want to go for... Come 
Come on, get get your move in. Make your mind. I've already made up my mind, but that's because I know what the I want what in my mind I want to do. So I'm switching an Archiman here to get the extreme speed kill on um on Tornadus next turn. I don't know why I um I know what's happened. I know what happens because I've already done the battle, but I don't know how it happens because I feel like the nine tails should just go down. Oh, it's because they're under tailwind. That's what it is. They're under tailwind. So fuel engines lives the hit. Nine tails gets the will o wisp off. That sucks. I did. I wasn't expecting will o wisp. I was expecting offensive nine tails with like heat wave, scorching sands and stuff. That just barely doesn't take out the nine tails. And then we get to plus. Uh, Plus one speed on both guys. So I'm checking how many turns. I've got three turns of sun left. They have one turn of tailwind left, which is very important because that that means the tornado like needs to go down here pretty much. So I ended up protecting Arcanine. Well, actually, no. The Tornadus can go down next turn because I have uh, I have extreme speed. But I expect uh, I think I expected Tornadus to protect here, so I protect my Arcanine. Oh, it's because I don't want to take a Scorching Sense. Basically, I'm protecting Arcanine so that it's, it because they could just double into Arcanine because I can't kill them both before they move because I'm only at plus one and they're at plus two because of the Tailwind. So I'm protecting Arcanine, expecting them to double into Arcanine here, and then I'm going to try to kill the Nine Tails. They did not do what I predicted at all, though. So I was expecting Air Slash and Scorching Sands into the Arcanine. They do indeed Air Slash into the Arcanine. But the Ninetales goes for Memento, which is now my Gyarados is at minus four attack, and it's it's my Dynamax, which really sucks to have your Dynamax just that horrible. But then we do get the Max Airstream off. It redirected from Ninetales into Tornadus. So the Tornadus goes down, and now this is a actually, like, you may be looking at it and you're like, oh, dude, you're maxed at minus four. That really sucks. But we're at plus two speed, and their Tailwind is gone for good now. So that means that both of these Pokemon are now, we hit because we hit 146. Remember that number? That's faster than Timid Venusaur. And we're at plus two. The Venusaur's at plus two. That means both of these Pokemon are faster than Venusaur right now, um, no matter what. So Venusaur comes in, and Dracovish comes in. And these are their last two. They can't switch once they're... Like, they can't switch out anymore. And we've still got all four Pokemon left. So we're at plus two. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just calcing um, Sun Boosted uh, uh, Flare Blitz versus Venusaur. And I mean, I think I did the cal... No, I know, I know Sun Boosted Max Flare will one-shot Venusaur. But I'm not sure about Flare Blitz. I actually, uh, yeah, I, I think it does end up coming short. So I do end up deciding to double into the Venusaur here. And I mean, we've got, well, I think, two or three turns left of Sun. So, like, no matter what. Uh, worst case scenario, one of our guys is going to go down to Dracovish here. But we've still got two guys in the back. And actually, uh, neither of our guys could get put to sleep here either. Because we have safety goggles on Arcanine. And weapons is already burned. So they go for the max here. And even, like, Dracovish can't really hurt uh, Gyarados here at all. Because first of all, we're maxed. Then we're uh, in the sun, so the Ficious Ren does less. And we're faster than it guaranteed, so it's only half power. So D Dracovish isn't that much of a threat here at all. And plus, the instant Dragapult comes back in, we can just destroy it. So here comes the max player under the Venusaur. Just chipping it enough for the regular flare blitz to kill it and it goes down so they could have protected there but if they protect they just kill arcanine and then dragapult comes in and kills the dracovish back and uh, arcanine goes down to recoil which is really funny and then rock slide does a lot uh i wasn't really expecting rock oh that was a crit never mind <laughs>
Uh, and we've still got three guys left, so navigation can, it can pretty safely come in. And even uh, um, Xerneas can just come in and outspeed and kill, because it's not Scarf. So all of our guys at this point uh, kill Dragapult, or Dracovish. So I'm just going to go f lock in Draco Meteor. Um, and I don't, I think just Waterfall with Gyarados. Flinch it, yeah, just Waterfall. In case we miss. Weapons taking a lot of recoil. And Ficious Rend goes down. So that's that battle. Uh, there was some sloppy play in there on my part. I misplayed some stuff, especially with the uh, thinking I was at plus four when I was only at plus two. And then forgetting about the max Steel Spike boost. Um, overall, those could have cost me game one. Uh, it was a roll regardless. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for uh, the semifinals. We're going to go up against the Michigan Wall Reigns. Um, they are the Dialga team. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned there, uh, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.